I was very excited to be part of this because it's different to anything else we've released in the last few decades. This is special liquid. It deserves a special bottle. And I'm really excited to see what Laura's going to create. I'm an illustrator who predominantly works in books. I also work in ceramics and really enjoy telling stories around 3D objects. So I was really thrilled to be invited by Lefroy to create a bottle for them. When I start a new project, I will try and immerse myself in the world that I'm illustrating. I had never been to Isla before, but on the smaller plane, coming from Glasgow to Isla, your thoughts suddenly seem longer and you seem to be able to complete them. And in many ways, there's a simplicity to the landscape. I feel like I'm zooming in on these textures because I'm being given the chance to. Kids, you like that? <laughs> People that make whiskey here are genuinely caring about what they're doing. You know, they are invested in the process. You know, if you make something with your heart and your soul, that's got to have an effect on the flavour. I absolutely loved Isla. I loved driving through it and being able to see what you felt was the whole island. And it was this wonderful, wild, beautiful place where the whiskey is made. The whole distillery is very pleasing. As soon as you arrive, you're smelling different parts of the process, which was quite Willy Wonka. It's quite a visual and sensory treats. There was a real warmth to the people who seemed to be actually part of the place and you really don't feel like you need to be an expert just to talk about the whiskey. You know for over 200 years we've sat in the same spot. You have to work with nature here. I guess we can't control the weather, we can't control the temperature, we can't control how much water is going to come down the hill. So it's all about harnessing the experience that this kind of unique spot brings. I wasn't expecting the bay of the distillery to be that beautiful. I think that really took my breath away. Yeah, so warehouse number one has got a fantastic location for Mature and Lefroig. It sits right there on shoreline, 11 months of the year at least. It's battered by with sea spray and by wind and rain and uh, gives the Lefroig that unique flavour. Well, I first painted it when I was 15 years of age as a young apprentice. And in those days, we didn't use rollers, we used brushes. And it took for it I was days on my own painting this wall. And this wall here is the very original wall from the first warehouse. So when you say original, you mean that 1800s? This part here, yeah, wow. right along here. I can visually see a story in that wall, but also I think about what the wall's seen <laughs> and the weather it's seen and the characters it's seen and how it's painted, which is here, and how you could communicate that and get that across to somebody if they held this bottle of whiskey in their hands. Peat is key. It's as key as the water from Kilbride Dam. So we cold smoke at Lefroig, which means we have a hot fire burning. However, the Maltings operator's job is to ensure that there's peat constantly on top any time a flame tries to break through. And that will give Lefroig its signature and unique phenolic flavour. Growing up in the village, everyone was burning peat back then. So you spoke around the distillery grounds today and you smell the peat smoke, it brings me back to childhood, I guess. That's a hard one to explain to someone that's never smelt peat, but it smells like home. I just love it. It 
So this year we're releasing something special. We are taking 36 year old Laphroaig, which is special in itself, and we're finishing off the 36 year old in ex Laphroaig peated casks. This edition has real special and unique flavours. Laphroaig may have been around for over two centuries, but for us to release something at 36 years old, it's, it's pretty special. To be able to sit and try it like this is even more special. There is only 200 bottles and it's got a fabulous nose. Slanger. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's incredible. Have you tried it before? Maybe I'll be one. <laughs> <laughs> You just have a sip of whiskey and it takes you somewhere else. This whiskey felt like it had layers and layers of stories to tell. And I returned to my London studio feeling really inspired. Firstly, I wanted to represent the iconic buildings of Laphroaig, the wall of warehouse number one, and the way it sat in that beautiful bay solid symbol of both permanence and change. I want this bottle to feel sturdy and textural and atmospheric. Peat seemed to be present at every step of the process and I was really drawn to the peat blocks um, which are often laid out in these very simple, beautiful patterns. So by building layers using a process that was both organic and intuitive. Each bottle has now become unique, and I guess this is just like the cast that they came from. Casks are like fingerprints. They're all unique. They are amazing, living, breathing entities. They're like us. They age, <laughs> they get tired, and they're all different. They've all got their own unique stamp. I'm actually really proud of what I ended up with. There are only 200 of them, but like the distillery wall, they've been given a fresh lick of paint, kind of asking it to be weathered, be kept, asking it to be looked after and to be enjoyed. Slanch to the peat. 